Hello weekend warriors. Today we're cooking up some prime rib for the holidays and we're gonna do it in the Pit Boss smoker. I've got some of the competition blend pellets in there and we're gonna do it at about 275 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's take a look at this prime rib. All right, so I picked this up from the butcher. This is about a five and a half pound prime rib roast. Uh, they've gone ahead and tied it up for me. That's gonna help it hold its shape in there. And it is bone in, so we're gonna get some extra flavor. When it comes time for you to buy one, you wanna think about about a pound per person. So for us, we're feeding five people, so that's why we got a five and a half pounder. If you've never seen one of these before, this is actually the ribeye steak. So you could cut you know, steaks out of this, and that's how they do it. But we're doing it as a whole roast. Nice fat cap, I'm gonna leave that on. And so to get started, I've got some olive oil. We're gonna rub it down with the oil as a nice binder for our salt, pepper, and garlic. So we're gonna make sure we get it nice and coated here. Get all the sides. Beautiful. All right, so we got that rubbed down right here. This is about eight cloves of garlic that I minced. I've got one of those nice garlic presses. If you don't have one, you should get one. And what we're gonna do is make our salt, pepper, garlic blend. I'm not measuring. This is probably three tablespoons of salt, maybe less. We're gonna go at least that much and a little bit more with the pepper. It's gonna help us build up a nice bark and we'll give this a mix real quick. That looks pretty good. And now we're gonna add our garlic in. Just use your hands, cause we're gonna be spreading this with our hands anyways. Make sure we get it all incorporated. That smells good enough already. All right, now no good simple way about this other than just let's dump it on. And we're gonna spread it on with our hands, rub it in. Build up a nice crust with this. The sides. Anything on the board, just scoop it up with your hand. We'll get this side. All right, so that was nice and simple. Now I'm gonna put it in a pan. I'm gonna catch all the juices that I can to make a jus later. So let's get it in the pan right quick. There we go. Fat cap is up and let's get it in the smoker. All right, so our smoker today is set to 275 degrees. I'm putting it here on this almost center rack. And so now I'm gonna take a meat probe. We're gonna put this right in the center of this guy. Drape this over. And we're gonna let this prime rib roast smoke till it hits about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically, you're looking at about 15 minutes per pound, so this should take about an hour and a half to two hours. But we'll come back in an hour to see how it looks. So we just hit the one hour mark. We're at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's get this door open and see how it's looking. That's a beautiful thing, guys. Look at that nice salt and pepper crust. You can smell the garlic out here. It's really intense. You know that's gonna be good. Take a look down here. Got some water in the pan. It's about a quarter full. I started it halfway. So hopefully that'll burn up when this is done. I've got my tin foil up top again to stop that drip. Coming along very nice. Let's get this door closed again. And we'll come back in another half hour or so or whenever uh, it's pretty much done. Okay, we are at the one and a half hour mark. We got 109 degrees Fahrenheit. The smoke coming out of here smells awesome. But let me get this door open. I wanna give it a quick spin. Just wanna rotate this pan. Nice, even airflow. There we go. Look at the color on that. It looks 
looks amazing. Got some juice coming in the pan. Let's get this door closed. And we'll come back when this hits about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, we just hit 125 degrees internal. Let's get this out of here. Oh man, that smells so good. So right now we got to get this wrapped in some foil real quick. And before I put the foil on, let's just let you guys get a nice look here. I mean, that turned out gorgeous. Nice, nice color on there. And so at this point, we're gonna do the foil. If you skip the foil and just cut right into this, you're gonna turn an $80 roast into about a $20 roast because it's gonna lose all that juice. So we're just gonna cover this loosely with foil uh, for about an hour and then we'll be ready to cut it. All right, this prime rib roast has been resting for about an hour. It's all I can take. I gotta dig into this. Let's cut it open and see how we did. Look at that beauty. Let me go ahead and pull these uh, strings off. Real quick. So the butcher's already taken the time to trim these off. The bones. You know, I'll be gnawing on those later. So we'll put those in here. And then let's just cut this guy right down the center and see how it looks. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful, nice medium rare. You don't see a whole bunch of juice pouring out of this because we let it rest. So I'm just cut off a little slice here for me to eat. smell all that garlic look at that just beautiful mm -mm -mm. let me get a bite oh yeah really good Imagine if you had some nice horseradish sauce, you can make a sandwich out of this. You can taste that smoke and just salt and pepper and garlic. It's really good. Hey, if you guys like this video, you can check out one of those two right there and I'll see you over there.